Hey traders, I thought I'd just do a quick update on one of our cycle trader strategies. Now, what in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a bit of an update on how the cycle trader is running on the S&P as a day trading strategy. So, this system is is CT62. It's running on the S&P Mini, and it's running really well at the moment. And I wanted to uh, take you through the uh, the actual strategy itself and just point out why it's doing so well. Obviously, as traders, we're looking for uh, strategies that are going to work in different market conditions and remember too that um, with the trend and cycle you typically with a trend trading strategy you're going to get action about 20% of the time that's how often the markets typically trend but for the most part they're either range bound or they're in in some type of cycle activity so this is really the perfect strategy for I'm going to just take you through the cycle trader on the S&P and we'll have a look and see exactly how this thing is performing and, and how the setups occur and how we get into a trade on this cycle trader. Okay, traders, so I've got a chart up here of the S&P and this is on a 987 tick, so it's a fairly high setting for the S&P. Now, the reason, why, the reason why I'm showing you this chart is that we want to have a look at how the strategy works, the cycle trader. Now, remember the... Uh, the cycle trader buys support sell resistance. It does a very good job of picking periods in the market where the market is consolidating. As you can see here, uh, we have, and we'll just scroll forward a little bit, we have the US market open there around about 9 o'clock, the pit session. But prior to that, we've got this area of really not a lot of range. And this is where the cycle trader comes into its own because these dynamic support resistance are designed to capture where the market con is consolidating and you can see here that and the idea of the cycle trader is that you so the idea of the cycle trader is that you sell support by resistance sell support by resistance and you can see that it does a very very good job of of capturing these areas of support and resistance for you to take potential trading opportunities and this is obviously last night's trading so the uh, the second of December but if we go back here, you can see again on the previous night, this pre-market activity where there's a lot of consolidation, there's not a lot of movement. Uh, the breakout occurs when the market obviously opens the, the US market session. Again, a nice little long trade there. So price came back down, hit that support line and we bought support and we closed out when resistance set up. We took our profit there. Previous night again, the same thing there, another winner. So you can see that it does a super job of as far as a day trading strategy capturing this support resistance so that's exactly what we're after and again the support prints uh, the price comes down these price bars break through a little bit then we get that we get that buy entry and then obviously we take profit when we get the resistance and another example here I'm just going through different days we didn't get anything set up here but you can see support and resistance appearing there uh, but then again, the, nothing really in the previous day. But then we've got again support resistance. So we got we had a price come down, hit support, and we took profit at resistance, and then we basically sold resistance there. So so traders just breaking down the performance here. You can see we're not getting a huge number of trades, but uh, we're getting some some good results. Obviously over the last couple of weeks, so. Uh, very consistent. Even our our losing weeks are very small, you know, fifty to ninety dollars, and then our winning weeks are you know around between the two to four hundred dollar marks. That's that's fantastic. So again, what I would say is that this is an ideal strategy for uh, for including with a trending type strategy. So the cycle trader is a good balance between trend and cycle because you want you're going to want to be able to capture the times when the market's not trending, and obviously, as we know. This, the market is consolidating a great greater amount of time than the, the market. The ability to add that strategy to your uh, your repertoire or your portfolio is a, is a fantastic addition as far as capturing profit and being able to maximize your return on investment. So thanks for joining us for that quick recap on the S&P traders. You can see there that 
the value of having a obviously a cycle trading strategy is critical if you're going to capture more potential moves in the market because obviously the uh, that cyclical type activity happens more frequently when we're trading. So traders, if you'd like to become a GMT Futures and FX Automated System Trader, all you need to do is email us at info at gmtfutures.com. You can give us a call, 617-336-008 at www.gmtfutures.com. Thank you for joining me, and I'll look forward to catching you on the next update. Cheers.